Do you wish you could add more fonts to your iPad for your design work or video editing projects? Well, I'm going to show you how in this video. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. If you're into design or video editing, make sure you subscribe to the channel because that's what we're all about. Now, if you're anything like me and you like to take your iPad with you when you're out on the road and you wanna create maybe a thumbnail for your YouTube channel or maybe some video editing work and you wanna add some titles, you may be frustrated when you get to change your titles and you realize you don't have the fonts that you need or there's just a very limited selection. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to add fonts to your Adobe apps and to other apps that you might have on your iPad. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first method is for you Adobe users. If you've got the Adobe Creative Cloud package, I'm gonna show you how you can install fonts using the Adobe app. Okay, so let's open up the Creative Cloud app. Now, once you open this up, it will probably open up in the tutorial section or your work section, but what you need to do is jump over to fonts and then you can browse through some of the most popular or most common fonts here. You can look through the installed fonts and this is what I really like. You, you can search for new fonts. So let's just say we want a Myriad font. We can hit enter and then you've got the options here for all of the Myriad fonts that are available on the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, I've just recently installed this font. This is ITC Avant Garde Gothic Pro. This isn't on Photoshop or Adobe Premiere um, by default. So if we now jump to Photoshop, we can see here that this font didn't come across uh, correctly. So I just filled that in. So if we go to this uh, font here, change this, we can select all of that font. And now if we go here and scroll down the list, we should see somewhere in this list is that ITC font that we've just installed. There it is. So we can select that, we can tick out of that, we can use bold, and there we can now see that font matches the rest of the fonts within that Photoshop document. So that's how you can import your own fonts or Adobe fonts into the Photoshop app, the Illustrator app, or even Adobe Premiere Rush. Okay, so that was how you add fonts if you've got the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. But what about if you use LumaFusion or another app? How do you add fonts into those programs? Let me show you how. Okay, so if you want to import fonts into uh, LumaFusion, the first thing you'll need to do is find your font. And I'm gonna go to a website called dafont.com. It's a really cool website where you have some really great fonts. And then it's really simple. All you need to do is find the font that you wanna use. Let's just, uh, for today's demo, use this one here, the gorgeous script typeface. So all you do is hit download, press download, go to your downloads. And then what you wanna do is essentially hold down, wait for it to download, hold down your Apple Pencil or your finger, and then go to share. Then you wanna scro uh, scroll across here and then tick this option here, which says open in LumaFusion. So that should now be open in LumaFusion. What I recommend doing is just closing the app down just uh, briefly, just to make sure it has installed. Let's open up LumaFusion again. And then if we open this project, let's create a new title. Then if we go to edit this font now, tap here, and then let's edit this font here. Testing fonts. Now if we go to edit the font here, we'll see our list of full fonts on the iPad. And you can see that the gorgeous font is now installed. So if we increase the size, we now have that font installed directly into LumaFusion, and it's as easy as that. Okay, so what do you do if you've got an app like Affinity Photo, Pixelmator, or just any other app where you can't actually drag and drop a font? What I would recommend is an app called iFont. If we open that up here, you can see you've got loads of options here from the company. And then what you can do is you can go to a website that you just saw, like Defont, 
and then you can install a font into your files application or Dropbox and then it allows you to import those. So you'd simply click import here you can see I've downloaded that gorgeous script from the LumaFusion example or the Babus New. So you would click that, import, and then you'll see it will pop up here. And then what you need to do is tick install. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna download a profile to your iPad. Um, and you'll see here, if we click install font, click allow, it will now open a new profile that we can use from settings of our iPad to install this new font. And you can see here, it's just popped up at the top here. And you can see there, we've got the install profile for the Babus regular font. Now I've already got this font installed. All you need to do is hit this install here and this will install the font to your iPad. And then you can use this font across all of your other applications. So there we go, that's how you can add some brand new fonts into your favorite programs on your iPad. I really hope that helped you, and if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and I promise I do get back to every single comment. So thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.